Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how we can retrieve Microsoft Teams meeting transcription using Graph API via Graph Explorer. So this was one of the use case which a customer of mine has been asking that they were not able to retrieve the meeting transcription which they wanted to build it or integrate into their Microsoft uh, into their uh, custom app. So when I was finally trying to basically research and implement this I found it is a bit, little bit trickier than generally what is uh, available in the Microsoft uh, documentation and hence this video is to help you find out how you can retrieve Microsoft Teams transcription meeting transcription using Graph API via Graph Explorer. Why Graph Explorer? Because it is easier for me to demonstrate but eventually you can use this in any of your scenario. So first thing we have to understanding how we are going to do it. First is we need to get the meeting ID and this is a bit trickier because there is no direct way to get the meeting ID from the user's calendar. So in this example what we will do is we will get the meeting ID by using the join web URL. We will see which endpoint to use there. The second one is to get the transcription ID of that particular meeting. Once we have the meeting ID we can call the meeting details API to get the transcription ID because the transcription ID would be available within that meeting object and then we would be able to call the transcription API to get the content by based on the transcription ID. So this is how what we are going to do. Now for the first one let's say we have a meeting which has been set up meeting has been passed and we also have uh, the recording of the meeting to be done. So how do you get the join URL? So in the meeting request when you click on join meeting now the URL which you get is basically your join web URL. This is the meeting URL. So we will use this URL to first get us the first uh, API endpoint calling. Okay so let's do that. Go to your graph explorer. You need to make sure that you are signed in with an account which has permission to <coughs> basically consent. Right? Some of the endpoints which we are calling or which we are going to talk about might need an admin consent also. So you make sure you have basically the admin rights to your uh, tenant. So let's call the first API endpoint. I have just copied it. So the endpoint would be something called like this. Graph.Microsoft online meetings and then we are filtering it based on the joint web URL. And this is where I am passing the web URL which we just copied. Now when we do when we do run this query what are we going to get is we are going to get basically the actual meeting ID. Now this meeting ID is very important because <coughs> the next endpoint point which you are going to call is we are going to use this ID. So you have to copy this ID and keep it with somewhere. If you see here the other values of this meeting it doesn't have the transcription or anything as such right. So for that we need to make another API call but to get that call the meeting ID is important. Okay, another thing to important is what permission would be required because I have already consented I can directly able to make the calls but if you are trying it for the first time you might not be able to make this call. So if you see here the consent which is required is online meetings dot read and online meeting dot read write. These are the two permission which is required to basically call this endpoint which is to get the meeting object from based on the join web URL right now. Once you have this ID, we can copy this ID and what we are going to do is we are going to use still use the online meetings endpoint which is the current endpoint and then we are going to pass the meeting ID so which we just copied from here and then we will say slash transcripts okay. What this is API is going to give us this API is going to give us all the transcript of the meeting. Now why all the transcript? Sometimes a meeting might have multiple recordings and it might be that there would be multiple transcript for the each meeting recordings which is there and that's the reason what we will get is we will get array of all the transcript object. This is going to give us all the transcript of that targeted meeting. Okay and here if you see then there is a new permission based on the endpoint which we are calling is online meeting transcription dot read dot all. So it means that this endpoint needs to basically have this particular permission to read the transcription of a particular meeting. I'm going to just run this. Okay now what you got is now you got list of all the transcriptions in this case because there was there was only one transcription is there the old data count is one and I'm just getting the one object within there and here you would be able to find the transcription ID 
you will be also able to find the transcription content URL and this is very important because this endpoint is basically the endpoint which is going to give us the content and if you want you can directly use this to basically get the content but you if you closely look at the endpoint which is giving in the transcript content URL it is still calling the online meetings endpoint is just that rather than me there is a user ID associated with it and then there is the ID and this ID is nothing but ID of our transcription which is equal to this ID so if you see this both matches and then there is an endpoint cross slash content so if we make and get uh, an API call to this basically endpoint we would be able to get our uh, this thing so what we will do is now let's say transcript and I'm go not going to use the exact one because I wanted to use the me endpoint but the other one will also help I would say slash and it says me that I can pass the call transcript ID so I'm going to paste that and then I'm going to say slash and I'm going to say content okay now as soon as I do that I will know that okay the same permissions are okay to be done so I would be able to call it let's try to call this okay as soon as I called it it says invalid format start or start now this is where it gets trickier and this is where people don't realize that we need to pass some extra parameters or extra header to this endpoint to actually get the actual result which is where and if we go by the uh, actual uh, documentation from the Microsoft what does it need is it needs an header parameter where we cannot pass the uh, star and what it needs is the request parameter is going to need us to pass a particular header which is the accept content type so I'm going to go here I'll select content go to request header I would say accept and I would say text slash VTT this is important because this out without this we won't be able to get the content of the transcription so if I go and pass this header and now let me try to call it okay what you see now here is that you got okay 200 okay it means that the API endpoint was okay but if you see here that you didn't get the content of the actual transcription like whatever was been recorded or whatever was been uh, available in the content right but why this did not has happened is there is some issue with the graph explorer where it is not able to uh, preview the content of the response because the content type is different so for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the, the API su is successful and we are able to actually retrieve the content also but that we will do it using postman